What's up? It's Michael Lynn White here at the Northwest Florida State College Arena with the Lady Raiders behind me warming up for an exciting conference game tonight against Chipola. It's a big rivalry tonight, so we're expecting exciting things. They're, both the men's and women's teams are coming off a loss from this team the last time they played, so we're hoping we're going to send out our good energy and hope for a good game tonight. I'm standing here with Coach Steve DeMeo, head coach of the Northwest Florida State College men's basketball team. Coach, exciting win tonight. Tell me about it. Well, guys, stuck to the game plan. We played a lot of zone tonight. We, didn't, we only played two or three possessions of man-to-man -man defense, and they weren't shooting the ball very well, but they obviously came out hot. They were shooting 26% in the league. They came out and shot 50% in the first half, but what we did is, you know, we, we stayed to our principles, and we just matched up a little bit better out of the zone, and we, we rebounded the ball. So they're a really good team, and we're lucky we got a good win at home tonight. That's so exciting because coming off of a loss to Chipola last time y'all played, what was different about tonight? Well, you know, home, home advantage, you have to 10-point swing usually in college basketball. And we came off of a loss at Gulf Coast. It was really, really heart-wrenching. But our guys battled this week. They, they competed. And uh, I think we have, you know, we have a really good team. We're, we're tied for first now, 5-3 and three with Chipola. So that gave us a little extra momentum tonight. Are you proud of your performance tonight? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, last game, I mean, I didn't play terrible, but I didn't play good enough to win, obviously. So... Uh, I just took it upon myself to prepare for this game and come out and try to get my team a win. You pulled the swag out tonight on this Farad, didn't you? Yeah, I had the swag. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations. All right, everybody. Simone Westbrook. How you doing, girl? We meet again. How are you? Good. What a game. Most points in the game. Tell me the keys to your victory. Um, a key in the game was to do what Coach said, is to just attack a basket. Uh, they had a little bit of a height advantage on us, so coach just said take it to him and hopefully we'll get him in foul trouble and that's exactly what we did. You're happy with the way y'all played as a team tonight? I'm ecstatic. I'm very excited. All right, well tell me, I know y'all have a big game coming up against Chipola. What are y'all going to do to stay strong? Uh, we're going to celebrate this win tonight and uh, we're going to come in tomorrow and practice. We're probably going to watch film, just learn from our mistakes and get focused for Saturday. All right, I'm standing here with Coach Harrington. Coach, exciting conference win tonight. Tell me how y'all pulled it off. Well, I'm excited for our ladies. Anytime you're in the panhandle, uh, competition is excellent. And uh, we uh, did a real good job defensive activity in the second half. Uh, ladies got their hands on a lot of balls, limit them to one shot. And then we're able to convert, frankly, on the other end. and. Uh, you know, it's the panhandle. Every night you got to bring it. And if you don't, you know, there's a chance you could not just lose, but you can get embarrassed. So really happy for the way the kids play. Very, very happy. Well, I know that y'all were down at halftime and y'all came back strong for the win. What did you tell your team at halftime? Well, just, you know, in terms of what we were going to do defensively, we had to make some adjustments. Uh, we, we do some things. We don't change our defense, but we tweak things. And uh, we just need to do a couple things, identify where we wanted to be, and then play with more intensity. I am standing here with Coach Rory Kuhn, assistant coach to the Raider men's basketball team. Coach, exciting conference win tonight. Tell me how y'all did it. Very exciting win, Michael Lynn. Uh, we had great overall team effort tonight. I mean, the guys really played with a lot of energy. We had guys come off the bench that didn't normally start, like Xavier Moon, had 14 points, had a great outing. Tevin Glass hasn't started, but has come off the bench. He's, he had 23 points tonight, was 17 for 18 from the foul line, which is unbelievable. And Mike Chandler gave us a real boost inside, too. I think he had, I don't even know how many points, but a lot of them off dunks, and he gave us really good energy. That's exciting for guys that don't normally start to come out tonight and have awesome games like that. Absolutely, and it's, it's all about a team, and, and we came together as a team. We bounced back from a tough loss, and we needed to come back together, and they really responded in, in a really positive team way tonight, so we're really proud of the guys tonight. First of all, tell me why fried bread is so important to the Native American people. We call it gadu because that's bread in our language. And a long time ago, they didn't have anything but uh, fried, fried bread and beans to eat. We used to get the acorns and bash them in and rinse them and wash them until they didn't have the hard stuff in it. And then we took it and put it in oil, bear grease in a buffalo bladder and we fried it that way until the buffalo bladder went away. How old were you when you started making fried bread? About seven. Oh, so you were seven years old in the kitchen mixing it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm so excited. I am trying fried bread for the first time on camera and she said the secret to making it taste the best is you put the spout of the honey in it, squeeze the honey so it gets in there, and then you sprinkle the powdered sugar on top. So you put it 
in there. Ooh. And then we're gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar. It is so crispy and mm. fabulous. And if you'll give me a minute, I'm gonna stand here and finish some of Mama Martin's fabulous bread. Hey everybody, my name is Michael Lynn White and we're here at the annual Oktoberfest sponsored by Student Life and the Student Government Association. And as you can see, there's lots of students behind me, so let's get going and see what everybody's up to and who knows, get crazy and maybe eat a bratwurst or two. I am standing here with Dr. Hunt, who is an English professor here at the college. Dr. Hunt, tell us why you came out to Oktoberfest today because there's free food at Oktoberfest and we don't get paid much as professors and so we have to always snarf down the free food when we can get it. And a snarf, is that an appropriate word for an English paper? Well, <laughs> it is not an appropriate word for an English paper. However, I'm using the vernacular to kind of fit in with my surroundings. Would you wear a lederhosen? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Place where the first Oktoberfest was held and still held to this day. Uh, New York? I'm not sure. Girl, it's Oktoberfest. It's German. Oh, um, Belgium, Berlin, somewhere around there. Good, Belgium, no good, idea. good guess. Um, I, I can't remember. I'm not really sure. Munich, Germany. How about that? Oh, that's cool. That's where my friend is right now. She moves there. Really? Is she going to go to Oktoberfest? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her since she moved there. That's awesome. Okay, girl, well, go get your free food. We won't hold you up. Thanks so much. What do you think is the best, the greatest benefit to the school for having something like Oktoberfest? Well, this, uh, it gets the students out, and what it does is it gets, um, you know, SGA recognized, uh, you know, it's different student organizations. Uh, all of our clubs were welcome to come out here, and most of them came out and, you know, represented their club. They had different games and different things to give away. So I'm going to give you a few words, and I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Pumpkin. Pie. Well, okay, later hosen. Later hosen. Um, any kind of hosen are bad. You know, it's like it's kind of pantyhosen at my <laughs> <laughs> control top pantyhosen, control top later hosen. Um, um.